Day versus Erg. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. How are you doing, Pung J? Today is my bro. Oh, really? Well, happy birthday. How are you doing, Pung J? Okay, and on to the first match, gonna be none other than Kohide against Exia, and I do believe that Exia is a Bridget player. Yes, I do. I remember because he participated last time. So definitely looking forward to his, uh, well, his, um, uh, to his beautiful performance today. Okay, and here we go with the Rock the Baby right away. Very nicely done by Exia. Almost got Kohide in the corner, but Kohide very, very, he loves gold bursting whenever he has the opportunity. And that is very nicely done by him. He was able to open his opponent up, but our Exia still had his burst. Almost caught Exia with a... Oh my lord, Andy, wake up DP. I think he's gonna make it safe right away. Okay, no challenge from Exia. Very nice cross-up. Didn't cancel into the flip kick though, but it's still okay. Here we go. Exia maintaining the pressure with the yellow Roman cancel. Very nice back dash by Kohide. Managed to get out of pressure and grab his opponent. And just like this, he's gonna get the wall break and the possible kill. Are they? Okay, you got the kill. Good thing we didn't get uh, the uh, we didn't get the um, connection error. Very nice first, uh, very nice first round by Kohide manages to hit Exia out of the air, and here we go. Exia really fighting for his life to get out of the corner. Thanks, fam. I'm great. Want to support before I get my birthday away. That's good, man. Very, very appreciated. There you go with Kohide with the the traditional in and out from. From Giovanna, unfortunately, he gets jumped on this time around. He tried to, he actually succeeded to hit his opponent with a very, very nice Nasante. No burst, finally, the burst caused by Exia. He didn't really have any other choice. Kohide whips the Nasante a little bit too late on his attempt to entire his opponent, but still, okay, managed to take the first round quite convincingly, if you ask me. Let's see if we can go on to the next battle without any problem and it is the case perfect okay let's see if nobody else is asking uh, what's going on i think it's okay okay we're good okay so far so good here we go we go with the roger dive right there the anti anti air if i might call it very nice simple to right there from kohide and finally wake up dp by exit to just get kohide off of him very nice with punish with the nasante if you would believe that He's gonna get the wall break uses the overdrive to get this and secure the hard knockdown what's well, gonna be the okizume we shall see oh very nice call out on the yrc bike he manages to get the optimal well the killing blow actually we go on to the second round of the second match exia still well, well struggling to find his footing but it's still okay here we go he, pretty nice bad well pretty good Served around four Kohide at least, he gets a positive bonus with half, uh, half of his opponent's life already gone. Okay, and here we go with Kohide really trying to maintain this pressure. Okay, and here we go, he gets uh, the... Bentania for the kill. Lord, this hurts so much. Here we go with Kohide with a solid 2-2-0 lead. Let's see if Exia might consider changing characters. Please keep in mind that Exia does have a pocket, not a pocket actually, well, probably a pocket Leo, I guess, I think, if I'm correct. But anyways, that being said, Exia sticks to his gun. Very nice challenge right there, couldn't quite get the confirm. But he gets a big fart. Ah, big fart. Okay, no burst from Kohide. Probably wants to maintain it for a wake up gold burst, if you ask me. Okay, here we go with the schmixes, you have to hold it. Very nice conversion, and oh, almost he shied away from killing his opponent right there. This is really unfortunate. Kohide is psycho. He is, he is. Kohide is probably one of the best, if not the best, uh, Giovanna player in Japan currently. Only probably, uh, well, definitely on par with TY. Some people might argue that he's stronger. Some people might argue that TY is stronger, but that being said, you can definitely, we can all agree that he's a very good, very strong uh, Giovanna player. Okay, here we go with the Nasante again, trying to catch the uh, jump out of Exia. Here we go. Uh, with the tick pressure this time around, he gets hit by a Yabari by Exia. Finally, Exia puts one round on the board. Let's see if he can secure another one. Okay, very nice chase down right there from Kohide. Pushing Exia in the corner, gets, opens him up with the counter hit, rock counter hit into the Bentania. This did a ton of damage. Look at this, half of your life is effectively gone here we go very nice for hs by exia finally gets something going unfortunately he gets hit on his way down and this is gonna kill 
fucking up. <laughs> okay, and here we go. That was actually very nicely done. Still one more round to go. I was a little bit too quick on my score update right there. And here we go with... Ah, uh, with the pressure again with Kohide. Definitely relentless. Very nice opening. Oh, and the wake up gold burst by Kohide. You, oh, and the gold burst by Kohide again. Bye bye, Exia, this time around. Giving a taste of his own medicine to Kohide. Kohide staying very, very strong. Very, very solid. Okay, here we go with the anti reversal wake up. And he goes low this time around. Exia definitely staying around, uh, staying alive this time around. Oh lord, and Rigo with the round start with the fiery Roger. And again, Exia just managing to. Ooh, I hope he didn't commit to anything. He didn't, perfect. Oh lord, and using the delay of the Roger dive to finally secure his very first round. No, his very first match, actually. Very nicely done by Exia, definitely managing to stay alive. Let's see if Kohide. Well. For now, we can more or less say that the momentum is definitely in favor of Kohide, but Exia definitely not trailing too far behind. Hopefully for him, he's going to be able to find... Okay, here we go again with the opening in this time around. Again using Roger and finding the opening. Double Roger this time around. Kohide managed to squeeze out a gold burst. And you can see that Kohide has a little bit of trouble evaluating the distance. Oh, Lord, and the badly timed... Oh, that was a badly... Okay, okay, here we go, Exia. Exia staying alive, catching his opponent with the 2S. Very nicely done, Exia. Okay, Matt is currently working on a comeback, I think. Very nicely done. Okay, here we go with the jump in by Kohide. No confirms off of it. Well, no conversion, at least. Okay, and here we go with the... Wow, again with Exia. Oh, yeah, challenging. Challenging this uh, this very strong pressure in the air to air in favor of Exia. He gets the juggle, almost got the juggle. This unfortunately, he gets the follow-up with the... Aerial yo-yo, he's gonna go with the rollerblades, ah, and gets shoot, chip, not chip, gets scooped by the, um, the Nasante, but yeah, the deep, oh lord, and he manages to bait that, oh, bait the burst, he, uh, didn't quite confirm it correctly, he could have probably gotten the kill if he had the overdrive, and just as I say this, Kohide is the one to secure this overdrive, he has one tension bar, Oh lord, and here we go with the tick throw for the win. Very nicely done. Kohide on match points. Let's see if he can seal the deal or if, if Exia is going to stay in the winner's bracket this time around. We shall see. And here we go with the pressure, man. The endless pressure. And here we go with the pressure yet again. And Yurugo with the Ventania, it's still not enough to kill his opponent. I'm so I'm trouble shooting all the well guys. I have some some to shoot right now again. <laughs> Over Sasha. Anybody know Versace? Versace, if you're in the uh, if you're in the chat, please uh, respond to your opponent. And just like this, X. Oh, Exy actually managing to bring it back. Very nicely done. Okay, well, uh, Versace, you have to answer to your opponent right now. If you don't, you're going to be disqualified. Okay, here we go, and yeah, Exa, uh, just maintaining the pressure. Here we go, very nice. Oh, nah, he dropped the combo. This is unfortunate. He uses again the delay on the drop of Roger in order to secure the win. Exa on the verge of sending Kohide in the loser's bracket, actually. That would be pretty freaking crazy. And here we go with the tick throw by Kohide. Not out of it yet again with the grab. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, Kohide. This time around, maintaining the pressure. Very nice use of the 6p to entire. 
Oh lord, and Exia not afraid to press buttons. Okay, here we go with the juggle. <laughs> you went from one side of the one side of the uh, of the stage to the other. Very nicely done. Nice, perfect, and nice. Uh, nice statement right there. Uh -oh. Thank you very much for the follow, room and welcome to the pro show. And here we go, Exia maintaining the pressure, definitely wants to bring this win back home. And here we go with the pressure, and we're actually on match point, let's see how this pans out. Ah, and here we go with Koki, they found the opening, is this gonna kill? It is actually, oh my lord! And Kohide takes it by trying to contact, will be contacting it sooner rather than later, we shall see. Versace! I'm still gonna try to find him, but... He'll be here, huh? Any buddy. No. Ooh. Er. Okie dokie, and here we go with... Okay, here we go with the... Uh, I'm really sorry, I really need to troubleshoot a little bit of this. Hopefully, this is going to solve. That being said, here we go with the counter hit by Edo Setora. Gets the corner carry, even manages to get the punish on the burst. He's gonna do a lot of damage just like this. Edo Setora is in the lead with the first... With the second round, actually. Very nicely done. First... Match goes to Edo Setora. Very nicely done. Damn. We go on to the second match. Here we go with the corner pressure. Unfortunately, our X lets Edo Setora get out of the corner. Very nice 6 8 catch to catch him out of the air. Oh, okay. Very nice use of the 6 S, uh, the 6 P to get under the uh, the projectile of Kai. Okay, here we go with the direct lap. Here we go with the food dark. Okay, here we go with the jump in by Kai. Unfortunately for him, he gets caught by the grab. And here we go with the wall break by RX. Very nicely done. He's gonna get the positive bonus. A very nice use of the 4S to catch and to hit his opponent. Right after the wall break, a very nice frame trap right there from Medusa that I get the, the. Oh, that was. Okay, it's okay. He still had another bar to make it safe. And here we go with Edo Setsura making good use of the uh, punish punish attempt of RX. Still back to the. Back to. Oh lord. And you can see Edo Setsura actually feeling pretty confident in this uh, in this matchup, if I might say. Okay, here we go with the TP. RX gets out of the corner. Very nice call out on the uh, Fudra Dark. And back to the zoning game. Rx trying to chip away at his opponent. And the... Oh lord, no! Not like this! That shimmy! And Edosetora manages to take it! That was sick! Second match to Edosetora still, man. That's crazy, man. Good stuff. Okay, let's see if... Uh, okay. So, Rx sticking to his guns. Let's see if he can bring it back. Okay. 
Okay, there we go with the counter hit in favor of RX. He's gonna take it with the overdrive. Sick damage right there and on to the second match of this, uh, the second round of this third match. RX full on zoning mode. Edo Setara trying to really find the opportunity to try to get in, but unfortunately RX was definitely on point. He gets the wall break. Oh lord, and here with the use of the Roman cancel, but Edo Setora already committed to the 6P, probably caught RX off guard. Ah, uh, he didn't quite get the juggle. He did get the corner position, though. No. Okay, no use of the burst. And here we go with the juggle for the kill. And just like this, RX finally puts one on the board. Let's see if he can continue this uh, onslaught and this if he can continue to keep the momentum. And here to where in favor of RX. Couldn't quite get a juggle in that particular uh, situation. Very nice use of the Arbiter. Oh lord, just harassing Edo Setora. Probably realizing that Edo Setora was using a lot of, um, of stun edge right there. Oh lord! And here we go with, again with the throw attempt by Edo Setora. Uses your Roman Cancel to try to keep the corner positioning and possibly entire RX bar. RX also had some tension bar to make it safe and to delay. And just like this, is gonna get the kill with the Arbiter into the Wall break! Good stuff by Rx. On to the second round of this third match. Oh lord, the trade in favor of uh, Rx actually. Here we go with the big 6P. That wonderful 6P, man. Oh, and again with the juggle, Rx keeping the corner position and gets the... Oh lord! Kept the... Uh... Yeah, he did keep the... Um... What's it called? The, um... the stain the stain on. Very nicely done by Rx. Brings it back, man. A lot of comebacks these times around. There are a lot of comebacks. RX bringing it back 2-2. Two two. This is definitely the final match of this set. Thank you very much for the follow, Nora Tanuki. And welcome to the Protoss. And here we go with the stain and the juggle right there. RX trying to bait that burst. But Edu Setora being very patient. And rightfully so. Finally, though, is forced to burst. Actually, read the burst on RX, was, but was a little bit too late to punish it, and just and because of it, RX actually found an opening, a juggle into stain into a wall break, well corner carry wall break, good stuff. Gets the wall break. Oh lord, and nobody home. Edo Setora, luckily didn't get uh, jumped on by RX. Manages to squeeze in a very very slick throw, again with the use of the um, her PRC. Uh, to get out of harm's way, here we go with the delay on his way down. Still, RX on point manages to enter him and steal the round. Actually, not steal the round. It was very, very solid on this one. And here we go with the next. And here we go with the corner pressure, man. RX definitely being a freaking monster of pressure. That is, that was a, probably a misinput. It's still okay. He didn't get uh, hit or anything by it. You go with the purple Roman cancel off of the Arbiter. He tried to get the juggle, but a little bit too late on that. Finally, Edo Setora on his last leg pops his absolute potential final burst of this set. Finds the opening with the 2S into corner carry combo. Very slick. Slick 6P right there. I have no idea why he decided to do this and just like this with a immaculate spacing. Haruki, and here we go. I'm definitely looking forward to this one. We don't have enough jackal points in this tournament, so. Okay, and on to the next battle. First round, and both opponent already in the air. Firstly, nobody's home. And here we go with a very nice wall break by Haruki. Manages to actually bring the pressure to Takari. Akarin definitely not out of this yet. Definitely not a stranger to comebacks. Here we go with the very nice jump back by Takarin to get rid of both minions at the same time. I think I got um uh, Let's see. I hope I don't. I don't. I don't know. Okay, perfect. And here we go, and just as I said this, look at Takani already working on his comeback right there. And the minion is here to harass Takani, and finally, how to keep finding the opening with a 2k. 
Good stuff by Haruki. We will start the round with the 2D and 2D minion. Oh lord, that was tricky as hell. The, oh, the, oh lord, oh lord! What was that? Were you playing free and FIFA or something? Is that a Guilty Gear game? Good stuff by Haruki. Look at this. Just like this, he already has Takarin down half of his life. Very nicely done and very nice confirm it was. Okay, and here we go with the 2D finds the opening. Takarin. Oh, kept his burst, but I think he made a mistake doing so. And just like this, Haruki actually manages to take the first match. 1-2-0 so far. Let's see if Takarin decides to change. No, he sticks to his gun. Sticks to his... To uh, the known and tried and true Axel. Oh, a little bit too far to get the dust, but very nice reaction from Takarin. Immediately pops it to uh, HS, man. Dude, oh lord, and this should kill with a... Uh, a Tiger Knee um, Axel Bomber, very nicely done by Takarin. Oh, very nice punish. With punish on the 2D. Couldn't quite get anything off of it. Oh lord, and the bat... The, the freaking spacing from Takarin is crazy. Here we go with the closest. Oh, unfortunately, well, fortunately for him, he forces Haruki to pop the bird. And you could see all of the decision making from Takarin, man. Takarin, like... Killing the first uh, minion, which was sent to him on an up uh, well, through the sky, kills him with the uh, the uh, the 2s. Then immediately cancels into the Lensengeki, which hits both the minion that was already on the stage and Haruki at the same time. That is definitely multi-processing, multi-tasking um, if I have ever seen one. But finally, Haruki finds the opening on Takari and forces him to burst. Go still. Oh, the corner, the corner carry of this the potential of this character is so good and here we go Takarin definitely finds the opening though and by the way it's one to one here we go Haruki eager to get a 2d in man just to get that precious knockdown so he can start his set play and speaking of set play here we are you have to hold it you have to hold it you have to hold it yeah you cannot yeah oh no a little bit too far and just like this man Haruki takes the first round of this second, this third match, actually. And here we go with the jump in, man. The cross up, if I might say. And the fake cross up this time around by Haruki, but Takarin doesn't bite. Does find the opening, though, in the bar situation. Here we go, almost in the corner. Takarin definitely oh, not afraid to jump. Just, oh, get close to his opponent, grab, but Haruki not afraid to backdash and punish accordingly. Go with the, oh, lord, and the... Oh no, a little bit too early on the cancel, couldn't quite the damage, the, couldn't quite get the damage that was guaranteed in this particular situation, and Axel, well actually Takani manages to take it in a burst safe situation, I'm pretty sure. Oh, here we go, the jumping edge, with the follow up with the rainwater, got the knockdown, oh, tried to get the air grab, but Haruki remaining very mobile, oh, Find the opening with the 2D again, goes for the fake cross up, but this time around, Takarin in. Oh, we're a little bit too far to go! The Takarin special. He baits your burst and then punishes you with the dust. Beautifully done. Oh, Lord, and then. Oh, that air to air was crazy good. Good stuff by Takarin, puts another one on the board. Currently in the lead with 2 to 1 against Haruki. Let's see if Haruki can find the adjustments necessary to bring it back. And here we go with the corner carry, but Haruki finally forces Takarin to pop the burst. Very nice, very nice call out from Takarin. Definitely noticing that Haruki was not going to finish his current combo and was gonna go with renewed pressure. Here oh lord! And the overdrive pop! Hits Haruki correctly. Oh lord! Oh Takarin and the awareness with the 2S entire man. Here we go with the jump back. It's a little bit too far to get the skill for the kill, but still okay. But uh, no, not still okay actually. Haruki manages to get the corner pressure back. And you really just need one more opening. And just like this, Haruki manages to take it with... I do suppose it was a fuzzy? I'm not quite sure anyways. Haruki staying alive, steals this round quite literally, gets the opening again with the fake cross up. Oh lord, no entire right there. Takarin back into zoning mode, hits him with the 2S, gets the juggle. 
And very nice damage right there from Takarin. El Kaoruchi just want one thing and just put as many minions as possible on the Oh, on the stage, unfortunately, for Haruki Takarin, aware that he wanted to grab him, just backdash and punishes him. El Gear go to 4P. Oh lord. Read the 2D, did a jump back, uh, jump back H, but Haruki still a little bit, had Takarin too low to the ground and gets, unfortunately, uh, get a, gets a trade with Haruki, but still, we are back in the, oh, we're back in neutral, and here we go with the, the, Oh, the, the world for maximum damage and look at this optimization station by Takarin on the verge of actually sealing that set again with the cross up finds the opening and here we go yeah you have to hold it oh and again with the call out by Takarin this this player for you to try to get an update and you not responding is a little bit uh, not respectful in my opinion so please do not check in if you do not participate to the tournament thank you that being said here we go with the start of the tournament is going to be Shohi a testament player against Lugi let's see how this pans out immediate burst from Shohi and here we go with the zoning game start of Shohi very nice everywhere unfortunately Lugi not committing to any aerial attack wow Shohi finds the opening with the, uh, the juggle off of the the stained Get back to neutral. Ah, Mugi trying to find the opening. Being very respectful right there. Don't, not over committing. He's down a burst. So the person who gets, well, both of them are down a burst. Person who gets open is going to have to deal with pressure and just like this. So he is, yep. So he is out of there. <laughs> First round goes to Mugi. Let's see how this turns out. Wow, and the double Fukio by Mugi, man. This guy is not afraid. Just do it. And here we go with the 6P. Very nice opening right there from Shohi. Okay, finds the... Oh, the jump in. Go! Oh, okay, finds the punish on the Fukio. Oh, my lord! And Mugi reading the teleportation station and just like this punishes accordingly. This is a lot of damage, by the way. Well, it's okay. <laughs> Nago can definitely do way worse than that. Okay, no wall break. This is unfortunate for him. A little bit too far from the wall, I guess. Obviously. There we go, final, yeah, that was a final chance for Sh Shohi. First match goes to Mugi. Let's see how this pans out. And here we go with the Fukio by Mugi. Unfortunately, gets, gets scooped by Shohi. Very nice. Very nice uh, state safe right there from so he finds the opening. Oh, here we go with the Arbiter trying to get that hard knockdown. Okay, no entire right there. A little bit uh, off on the 6 feet and Mugi not committing to any aerial attack anyways. There we go back to the neutral. Mugi definitely inputting something. Very nice call out right there from Shohi, but yeah, immediately Mugi not not stopping his onslaught finds the opening with the grab and again with the fukio man you can see the timing of the fukio definitely putting shoki off again here we go with the roman cancel and a little bit too far and not just that mugi not committing to any follow-up after his reka unfortunately for shoki he gets hit ah and the clone to just pull right through the skull of testament very nice challenge with the 6P and the jump in. No, no follow up, unfortunately, for this. Could have gotten the juggle, but yeah. Probably sure he not believing that that would have hit. Here we go. Yeah, very nice juggle right there. Again with the ambiguous, well, with the um, the three hit aerial. Here we go. He's going to get the stain state. Is he going for the cross up? No, he goes with the immediate dust for the opening and thanks. To the uh, juggle of the stain, he manages to seal the deal. Very again, the call out on the Fukio man. Shohi on point. Good stuff. Okay, no ID this, uh, that time around. Oh, okay, Shohi just getting out of the corner. Here we go with the skull. 
Oh lord. Oh, and finds the opening with the stained state. He gets a full juggle with the stained state with the newly added function of it. Manages to even squeal. Squeal. To squeeze. Not squeal. Manages to squeeze a Arbiter in there for a hard knockdown. Very nice Fuku into closest right there from Moogie. Moogie definitely patient in this matchup. Doesn't want to overcommit. Even if he doesn't currently have the life lead. Oh, and just like he's gonna get the juggle, is this? Yeah, this is probably gonna kill. Mugi, Nagoyuki does have a pretty... Oh, okay, he gets the kill. Good stuff from Shoki. Gets the uh, second match, actually. We have a game, ladies and gentlemen. And on to the next battle. Oh, this is not the semifinals, by the way, I'm sorry. This is still the winner's bracket, my bad. Yeah, this is still the... Uh, is it? Oh, no, no, this is a semi-punk, my bad. No, it's not. No, sorry, I'm sorry, this is the winner's bracket. Need to update this real quick. That being said, here we go with the corner pressure by Moogie. Here we go. And uh, Shoki managing to get out of the corner. Very nice for S. Here we go, yeah. Shohi definitely making a very good use of the zoning tools of Shohi to really keep Mugi out. Mugi struggling to get in, man. You can see it. You can definitely see it. Here we go with Shohi again. Really taking his time. This is what I really like about this player, by the way, Shohi. Taking his time, but unfortunately for him, there is something called the negative penalty in this game. And if you try to zone a little bit too much, you can end up losing all of your attention bar, all of your resources. And this is a free entry for Mookie, but here we go, Shohi being so... No! Okay, committing to the burst! Oh no! And the Beyblade into back Fuku into another Beyblade for the kill! Mookie, man, definitely didn't want to let this round go. And here we go with the grab. Command grab. Oh lord, and the... Yeah. Here we go with the Wasuri Yuki. He's gonna get the hard knockdown. This is gonna be very, very hard for our ex to get back in definitely need to get back in his zoning game oh and he gets grabbed no kill though even with the OTG but yep chip kill was a factor right there unfortunately for Shohi here we go with Mugi up 2-1 to one. it's definitely not over till it's over Shohi is not totally out of it he can definitely make a comeback Oh, Lord, here we go with the grab. Again with the grab. Moogie almost finding the opening. A little bit too late on his 6P right there. It's stuck by the jumping HS of Shohi. Oh, and the Beyblade counter hit, man. Forces Shohi to burst. I can't say that I agree with this decision, but I am not the current person playing. So let's just trust Shohi, see how this spins out. Oh, here okay, we go to 2S, two, uh, 5HS. Ah, and Mugi just keeping Shohi in, in jail. Like, effectively, very nice backdash right there from Shohi. But again, gets grabbed. It's not gonna kill. He's gonna get the positive bonus, though. Oh, lord, and that just guard, man. That was death right there. He stared death into the eyes. Okay, fine. No! Overextended a bit too much. And just like this, Mugi takes it. Okay, he's Please, Lord, don't let me jinx it. If I jinx it, I'm gonna be really angry. I didn't jinx it, perfect, all good. All is well, it ends well. Okay, and on to the first match. None other than Takani versus Koki. Let's see how this pans out. And a big counter right there from Takani. Gets the juggle with the corner carry. Koki definitely needs to find a way in. Pinned down by the Lens Geki finds the opening with a double dash. Oh, and the overdrive Abare right there finds the kill even. Very nice hit by Takani. Takes the first round. Oh, here we go with the cross up. This time around Takani definitely on point. Manages to block it correctly. Oh, and the jump in by Kohide forces Takani to pop the burst. And just as he finishes his onslaught, gets hit by the burst, he is already upon Takanin to continue the onslaught. Very nice grab by Takanin. Never afraid to just run up straight to you and just grab you. 
Here we go with the Nasante. Oh, and again with the Hail Mary, man. The Hail Mary from Takayun twice, man. Twice popped, twice killed. Well, didn't quite kill, but it definitely hit. Okay, here we go with Takarin and his immaculate zoning game. Jumping back S. Jumping back S. <laughs> well, as long as it works, you know. As long as it works, he should continue using it. On to the next battle, on to the second match. Very nice 2S entire right there from Takarin. He goes with the Lensengek. He tries to keep Kohide pinned down where he can continue to zone him. Unfortunately, he gets to jump onto. Okay, no one home on 46 p but still, Kohide finds the opening, gets the grab, and the corner pressure. Oh, here we go, would you walk back, then forward, and then the Sante. And this should kill? Oh, yes, it did. Damn, boy. No need for any overdrive right there. Good stuff from Kohide gets the kill. Okay, here we go with the jump in. This time around by Takani finds the opening, and the juggle also. Oh, and the overhead. Okay, he's gonna get the juggle, no meter to get the extension and potentially the kill, but it's okay, he's gonna get the... Yeah, he got the kill right there, good stuff by Takarin, keeping a clear-headed mind. Gets the second round of this second match, let's see if he can continue down in this round, uh, down in that, in that, in that path. <laughs> here we go with the jump in. Okay, no one's home. Oh, here we go. Oh, nice trade in favor of Kohide gets the 2 s counter that did a huge amount of damage and the oh the wall splat into the overdrive this is gonna do a ton of damage good stuff from Kohide what is Yokizame jump in safe jump Woo! that was a very 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 cheeky instant block unfortunately gets hit by the rainwater oh and the Nasante oh and she made the burst Good stuff from Kohide manages to put one on the board as well. 1-1. One, one. Let's see how this spins out. Perfect. On to the third battle. Very nice with punish by Kohide. Here we go with the corner pressure. Try to get the uh try to get the reset with the cannon drill. Fortunately for him, Takarin jumped out of the corner. And again with the 2S. Samurai cool. he did blocks it correctly. Thanks to him. Uh, thank thankfully for him. Here we go with the corner pressure and Takari in the Samurai not popping the, the overdrive. He did it twice uh, previously, but the Samurai, yeah. Probably where the Koide was probably looking for it. Very nice uh, toss up right there from Koide gets the juggle after the Nasante, and this is going to be the kill. Good stuff from Kohide takes the first round. On to the second one. We go with the 2P into the. I have no idea what this move is called. I'll call it the overhead, I guess. Oh, Lord, and the big jumping uh, uh, jumping H counter hit for Takani. Even got the juggle right after and Kohide working on a corner carry right there. Gets hit by the 2H uh, uh, twice in a row and unfortunately with the snail for the kale. Okay, on to the final round. Not of the set, but of this match. Here we go with the snail and the punish accordingly by Kohide. Okay, no entire right there. Okay. And here we go back to the neutral. Unfortunately, too late for the 6P gets scooped by the command grab. Oh, and okay, Takani actually dropping his uh the follow-up with the world. Okay, Kohide not only out of it, manages to get the air to air favorably. Here we go with the corner pressure and Takarin finding the opening using the gold burst and this is gonna kill, yeah. Good stuff. Oh, oh no it isn't actually, no! But it's okay, it's okay, Takarin still manages to catch Kohide probably trying to jump out of pressure I suppose. Caught him on his uh, jumping frames, I suppose I'm like 100% sure. And on to potentially the final match of this set. That was unfortunate, yeah. Okay, and here we go with the 2D into the Sepultura. Kohide trying to keep Takarin in the corner again with the jump in. Immediate cancel into the overdrive. He's gonna get the wall break into the hard knockdown into the positive B. Here we go. Uh, Takarin tried to 
try to squeeze in a very, very quick throw to potentially get the corner pressure, well, the corner swap. But unfortunately, well, he did backdash in due time and was able to uh, to uh, to deal the dealing the dealing the the killing blow. I'm sorry. Okay, we're going to jump back again with Takani and finding the opening. Very nice 2s right there. And the Nasante, you try to entire me, I will definitely entire you. Oh, and here we go with the... Oh, that did a huge amount of damage. Very nice recognition of the counter hit by Koide. And look at the damage. Good lord. That was crazy. And here we go with the grab. Not enough tension bar to get the extension into the kill. And again with the Nasante. <laughs> the Nasante with punishment. And it's going down to the wire, man. It's crazy. Yeah, he had PRC. It's unfortunate. He didn't believe in it. He didn't believe in it. Okay, you go with the round start Nasante counter. This is a lot of damage. You're gonna get the wall break. Half of your life already gone. <laughs> Yo, how are you doing, Chocho? -cho? Welcome back. How are you doing? I hope that your uh, Anji training is going very good. And here we go again with the wall break. And look at this. <laughs> look at this, man. Takari gets scooped by the 2D. And this is a perfect for Kohide on match point. Set point, actually. Let's see if Takari can answer and do. Uh, and do oh lord okay here we go Takani really trying to find the opening pressing a lot of buttons finally gets the opening okay, trying to pin Koide down with Dylan Sengeki and here we go with the delay of Koide uh, with the Sepultura finds the counter hit into the juggle with the uh, uh, the um, Bentania unfortunately for him too far from the corner to deal to get that wall splat into the hard knockdown and just like this Kohide man on the verge of actually losing it thanks to the momentum shift from Takarin and the awareness of this dude with the aerial grab manages to deal the killing blow that was a lot of damage that was pretty crazy damage here we go with the jump in again by Kohide with the follow up gets the knockdown and here we go with Takarin with the forward dash in order to potentially probably try to catch the back dash of a uh, Kohide I suppose but no entire right there here we go with the Lensengeki. Doesn't commit with the follow up. Very nicely done. Uh, this is the absolute final round of the final match of the set, man. This is great. Went down to the wire. And Takani working on. Oh, Lord! And Kohide finally gets the opening. Tried to go for a tick throw, unfortunately for him. Takani had his uh, finger on the trigger for the golden Roman cancel. Oh, Lord! And that back there was really scary. Oh lord, and here we go with Takarin for using a burst safe setup. Oh, and Kohide forced to pop the burst in, get the golden burst, and he gets scooped by the 4P. This went down. Even though he's not necessarily part of the really top tier top tiers, he has actually pretty decent matchups against the top tiers. So it doesn't mean that he's top tier, it just means that he has... Uh, usually the matchup that he has against, let's say, Nagoriyuki or Zato or all of these other top tiers, even Happy Chaos to a certain extent, aren't bad to the point that it's unplayable. It's actually pretty much in his favor some of the times, most of the times, I'd say. So that makes it so that he's actually tournament viable. Even though he's not in, like, the upper half of the top tier. Well, not not in the top uh, placement of top tiers. But that being said, here we go with the second uh, winner semifinals. Um, match, or very nice 6B right there from Ari. He's gonna get the juggle and the stain immediately chains it with a uh, arbiter to uh, get the uh, the hard knockdown. Here we go with the corner pressure, man. Deal with it. Just deal with it. Deal with it. <laughs> Just deal with it, man. <laughs> Not gonna sugarcoat it. <laughs> Not gonna sugarcoat it. Okay, here we go. Very nice 2D counter right there from Mugi Forces. Rx2 immediately immediately popped the burst. Oh lord, and the double jumping is right there from Mugi2. Both cover from uh, Rx2 both cover the aerial approach from uh, Mugi and or his Fukio approach. Okay, and here we go. Oh yeah, the uh, the um very nice Roman cancel got the juggle out of it. So good challenge right there from Rx. Couldn't quite get the juggle, but he does get the jump in oh lord and that standing p reactionary standing here there from Mugi. it's extremely hard to jump on this man please believe it not gonna sugarcoat it oh lord oh that tp though lord i am i am the mighty cornolio oh and i need tp for for the win actually very nicely done by rx takes the first 
match of this round of the uh, yes, the first match of this set. Let's see how this pans out. Oh lord, and here we go with the clone again. Just goes right through that skull and freaking hits Rx out. Okay, very nice confirms right there from Mugi gets the corner positioning. Ah, call out the 6P with the 2S into this 5 HS right there and gets the kill with the grab. Good stuff, man. Good stuff from Mugi. Okay, here we go with the 6P round start. Probably was looking for the uh, the forest. Here we go this time around, catches the TP out with the 6P, man. The double Fukio for the command grab, man, and just like this. Cancels it to the overdrive into wall break into positive bonus into hard knockdown into you have to guess. Okay, let's see what is going to be the Oki. Okay. Right, oh, and the grab, unfortunately for him, Arx was sniffing it out. Oh, and that jump in Mugi is. Uh, he does have the life lead still, but he is in a situation where he has to. He has. Oh, Lord, and a simple clone for the kill. Not gonna sugarcoat it. <laughs> exactly. Okay, Mugi manages to put one on the board as well. One match piece. We have a match ladies and gentlemen. It's immediate, man. Immediate bat Fukio into Beyblade. This is such a good round starter, by the way. Mix anything with and then just makes you with punish it with the I don't think there's a single a single um a single round starter you can not with punish with this. It is crazy. That being said, here we go with RX doing a good job of just zoning his opponent. Going to keep that pressure on. But Mugi finally out of this pressure just to be ba right back in thanks to the Roman cancelling from RX. Couldn't quite get to the, the juggle right there. It's unfortunate. But still okay. Oh, Lord, and that air grab by RX, man. Good stuff. We go with the stain. You have to take it and try to go for an air to air. Try to call Mugi out. But. Mugi not committing to any aerial attack. Gets the opening with a 2D counter. This is gonna kill, actually. Lord, and look at this. Mugi steals it. Mugi steals it. It's still okay. Good stuff. It's Mugi, so it's okay. We can we can forgive him. Let's forgive him, guys. There we go with the Sakura theme from Street Fighter. We love it. Okay, close S, here we go. Oh, but the pressure and Mugi finding the opening, man. The challenge, the Abari. And Mugi just going ham with the bad dashes, man. Gets stained, though. The Kuro Super was nasty, it is. It is. Oh, Lord. Getting the trade. Okay, here we go with Arix trying to go for the uh, cross up. Roman Cancel couldn't quite open Mugi out with it. Mugi expecting it, probably. Oh, Lord, what was that? That was probably a miss but probably he tried to grab him on his way down. Here we go with the. <laughs> that was a pretty nice whip on it. But unfortunately for RX, he gets scooped by Mugi. We'll go with the, ro the, the, the wall break. Back to the neutral. Oh, and the jump in, man, from RX uses the Roman cancel to close the distance and get the juggle. He couldn't quite get the killing blow juggle, that is. It's okay. Oh, Lord, and Mugi trying to call that. Uh, trying to ca uh, call the, the, crow out, the crow out by using Pukion to. Quick, uh, oh no, he couldn't get the OTG. This is, I hope it's not gonna come back to haunt him. I'll come back to haunt you. Very nice 2S right there for the kill and RX staying alive. Good stuff. Here we go with the third. Ah, uh, the third round and Boogie finding the opening with the. Oh lord, again, we're going ham with the clones, by the way. Okay, here we go back to the neutral and a very nice standing P right there from. Mugi, oh lord, and Rx baits the deep, baits the burst, and he gets a very nice juggle, by the way. Here we go with the Nostrovia. Gonna get the juggle. Oh no, well, he, he'd rather keep the pressure going rather than uh, get the wall break, which I, I perfectly, I, I can perfectly. Oh no, and gets, unfortunately, for lucky for Rx. Mugi, too far to actually get the uh, juggle. Wasn't quite uh, expecting that. TP right there, couldn't quite punish it. Yes, the counter hit. No tension bar to extend. Oh lord, here we go with the 6P. Unfortunately for RX, not quick enough to punish. Wasn't quite expecting it. Here we go with the jump in and gets the. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> Good stuff from RX and nice awareness by him to use the Roman cancel after his jump in uh, pressure. He could confirm it. Uh, couldn't quite actually get the conversion though because we did see a counter hit right before the killing blow 
so probably uh, Mugi was pressing buttons, doing stuff, refusing to die, which is understandable. Thank you very much for the follow, Angry Poi, and welcome to the project. But here we go with the stain by RX. Oh, and Mugi trying to close the gap, not going so well. For now, zoning is entirely in favor of Testamento. Gets the juggle. Personally, couldn't quite get the end a little bit, so he still has the corner pressure. He's probably gonna get the same, gets it. Oh lord, and here we go with the popping the overhead, uh, the, uh, the overdrive, I'm sorry. Gets the juggle since the overdrive hit very far. Very nice grab right there from Rx and can use the RC to extend the corner and get the kill. Set point by Rx. Oh lord, here we go with the skull. Very nice team right there. Try to get the jump in. Mugi still blocking. Oh lord, and the TP. He corners himself, unfortunately. I don't know if it was really intentional or not, but. Okay, try to get the knockdown with the Arbiter. Okay, very nice cross up right there from Arx. Oh no, anti right there. He committed already to a far S, unfortunately for him. Oh, and <laughs> Mugi catching the back, that's by the way. Good stuff. On the verge of actually. Uh, bringing it back. Okay, Mugi not committing to any bursts. And here we go, the juggle. Look at that damage. That's actually pretty decent damage. <gasps> and the juggle, that was crazy. Okay. Oh, and here we go again with the overdrive. This is gonna hit. Yeah, it is, obviously. Good stuff. And here we go, the OTG6 HS for the kill. Mugi staying alive. And already in the corner with Mugi. Tries to grab the Samara Rex RX, aware of it. Successfully takes it, but still gets scooped by the 2 HS. Oh, and the big 2 S. No confirm on it after the counter hit, but still. Still with Mugi managing to take to get the kill. And we are going on to the last match of this set, ladies and gentlemen. Who is going to take it? So here we go with the jump in, RX finds the opening, even gets the burst into the optimization stage. Look at the damage, man. Oh, here we go with a very nice uh, whiff punish, H 6HS if you, if you believe it. Oh, and here we go with the grab, command grab. Ah, RX trying to read the grab, but this time around Mugi. <gasps> oh, here we go with the jump in, good stuff by RX and gets the opening with the Arbiter. This is so cheeky, good stuff. Okay, and here we go with, oh, low. The jump in again by RX, RX looking very good, man. Okay, he's gonna get the grab into the corner pressure, but Mugi pressing buttons right there. Hits RX on his startup frame with the 2S. Oh lord, and the... Oh, he's gonna get the wall. Yeah, he got the uh, the side switch. And again with Mugi popping the overdraft to get out of pressure. Hits RX, but still gets the juggle. Now ah, you can feel, yeah, RX wanted to get out of this one, man. Doesn't want to die like this. Okay, and the cheekiness of RX, man. Just running straight and doing 2K, 2D. The cheekiness of this, man. Oh lord, and finally Mugi finding the opening with the 2S counter hit. We are going on to then again the last match, the last round of the last match of this set. And here we go with the conversion station of oh, Mugi forces the burst on Oryx. So we go back to zoning game. Oryx definitely making good use of the fact that Mugi does have two blood rage, do two blood gauge. Uh, currently and cannot really commit to using any special Okay, oh, here we go yeah back to the zoning game man it's definitely going oh lord he finds the opening man oh <gasps> and again man with the overdrive he's been 10 on 10 with this one again hitting rx on his oh relentless pressure and very nice back dash by rx this probably saved him by the way Ooh, and he finds the opening with a 2S. That being said, yeah, Mugi is definitely in Dire Strait. He almost has a full Blood Rage bar. No entire on the TP attempt of RX. And here you go, you are in. Oh no, and just like this, RX is gonna take it with the sickest juggle I've seen in a really long while.
bracket, well actually first stream match of this loser's bracket, it's gonna be none other than Nod versus Atem. Let's see how this pans out. Not rocking Giovanna and Atem rocking. Beautiful Nagori Yuki. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, in the neutral right there, not really staying mobile, doesn't want to get caught in the pressure of Atem. Okay, he gets in, gets the corner, gonna go for the... Okay, here we go, no safe jump pressure, just the OTG. Okay, here we go with Atem finding the opening with the 2S. You're really trying to abuse of this 2S to prevent not from just randomly um, dashing forward him, as you can see. Very neat, uh, very nice whiff punish right there from Not. He's definitely in. Okay, here we go with the pressure. Okay, and Atem burning all of his resources, unfortunately for him. He blood rages, and that. Let's call it a shimmy, yeah. Let's call it a shimmy. That shimmy from. Not for the kill, very nicely done. Look at that trade. And here we go, Atem finally finding something in. Oh, and a big jump in by Atem who pushes not ever so slightly in the corner. Gets the command grab. He tries to back off a, bl a bit, probably trying to read something. Just like this brings Yovana to the other side of the corner, or well, the other corner. Okay, very nice trade right there from Atemu. Makes it so that he kills the cannon drill and keeps the pressure going. But well, actually kills the pressure of Giovanna by doing so. The four is a close slash into the wall break. Actually, the SSS is into the wall pad into the wall break. Back to the neutral and beautiful with punish right there from not. Yeah, again, way out, but that 2S man it just comes out too quick. It's too quick, and the burst bait for the kill, and just like this, Atemu puts one on the board. Everything seemed to go uh, not sway, actually, but yeah, at the absolute end of this third match, everything went downhill, man. Good stuff from Atemu. Okay, here we go. Ah, not managed to get out of the corner. Wakes up with the golden burst, but yeah, couldn't get anything off of it very nice 6p2 punish the cannon drill yet again with not finding the save jump the double fukio yet again and again with the 2s counter hit man it's been doing wonders wins with a full blood bar now <laughs> yeah i know right of course why not he needs it <laughs> here we go with the second round not yet again gets command grab. Refuses to press a button. Refuses to jump out. Finally jumps out actually. Oh, and that just guard for the punish on the kick flip, man. That was crazy good. Here we go with the empty jump. The empty jump this time around at him. Uh takes it correctly. And the corner pressure yet again by not. Gets hit by the OTG. And the wake up. Hail Mary this time around is blocked by Atem. Immediately pops a burst once Atem tries to punish him. Okay, and here we go with the ever so slightly. Oh, catches the back dash. Nice awareness from Atem, man. Good stuff. Up 2 to 0, actually. Let's see if Geo, if not, is capable of bringing it back. We shall see. The round of the start, DP. Everybody knows it. Here we go with the jump out from Atem. Gets hit by the kickflip though, so right back to the corner you go. Finally forces not to pop the burst. Oh, and that big counter hit into another standing far S into the overdrive. That did a ton of damage. Okay. Not probably trying to bait either the burst or with UIRC. Still gets the kill with um. Three, two P's right there. And here we go with the immediate corner carry combo at round start. Atemu definitely looking good. Just needs to win this one. Well, he needs to win this match if he wants to 
stay in the winner in the in, in the tournament actually. We go with the Beyblade, keeping the opponent cornered. Doesn't want him to get anywhere else than the corner. Finally, not forces the first and Atem man still finds the kill. One more round for Atem to move on to the next battle in the loser side of the bracket. Here we go, finds the opening with the two, the two K. It was okay, not definitely feel a little bit impatient, I suppose. Oh, and the big 6p2 call out the cannon drill. That must be hard, heartbreaking, man. And the 4HS, man, into the command grab yet again. And just like this, Atemu gets the kill with the Beyblade into the fall. Okay, let's see how this pans out. And I'm happy we still didn't get any connection error. I am extremely, extremely happy. Okay, and start of the match. Mass doing the opposite of what every Axel does, which is basically just run forward. Very nicely done. She already has how to keep cornered. Tries to entire her with, uh, entire them with their 2S. Oh, and here we go with the Axel loops. Couldn't quite get the final Axel loop. Still gets the kill with the two. Uh, P, I guess? Yeah, that would be 2P, I guess. And the trade in favor of Haruki gets the knockdown with the 2D. Oh, gets the juggle, unfortunately for him. Loses the corner. This is really unfortunate, but gets it back with the, uh, with the, uh, jump in. Okay, he tried to bait the burst, but that Ina is definitely staying very, very, very reasonable. Still no burst. Still no burst. Okay, here we go. Oh lord, and he almost got it, man. That would have been crazy had this one. Okay, and here we go with the quick dust for the kill. And yeah, Nas definitely looking very strong right there. Finally for support the burst though. Oh, and that juggle though by Haruki manages to get all of the minions on them stream. And Danny Nas finally resorting to burst out of the pressure. And Haruki finding the opening with the 2D into the overdrive. This is gonna kill. Good stuff. Haruki takes the first. Match one to zero. Let's see if uh, Nas can, uh, yeah, bring some some changes. Hopefully he will. We shall see. And here we go with the two H. Was it? Yeah, the two H counter hit for Nas. But Haruki, yeah, finding the opening as well. Definitely the life. Uh, Haruki has the life deficit, but it's definitely. Still doable, a little bit less now, extremely less likely now. Oh, and that with punish the very next nice done by Haruki gets the juggle. Tries to bait the opponent to press button. And the opponent finds the correct button to push for the kill. And very nice juggle right there. Try to go for another command grab. And here we go with Nas with the corner positioning. Uses quick dust to open his opponent up. And here we go with a deep pressure by Haruki pushing. Daddy Nas ever so slightly in the corner. Finds the opening with the sit. Eh, it wasn't six HS. I it's probably the two HS, is it? And again with the 2D to save the day, man. Good stuff by Haruki. On the verge of winning this uh, this round and incidentally this hit, this this match. Here we go. Oh, very nice awareness by Nas, noticing that there are no minions and therefore the block string is definitely finite. Managed to even squeeze in a grab. 
and the 2k 2k counter hit well 2k counter hit into 2k 2d doing wonders nicely done by that Inyas. wants to keep that zoning going And here we go with the corner pressure and again with Haruki sealing the deal. Up 2 to nil. See if that Inas can, uh, yeah, adjust man. Definitely having troubles finding his footage. His foot cheese. And here we go with the Axel Bomber. I've never seen so many Axel Bombers. Good stuff by, by Daddy Nass. Tried to squeeze in a Roman cancel. And again with the Axel Bomber for the kill. Very nicely done by Daddy Nass. Good stuff. Here we go with the 2D counter hit and the juggle. He goes for the throw. And you're going to infinite, infinite pressure town. How are you doing? 1 800 e pressure. Good stuff. And you're going to the quick dust for the kill. Good stuff by Haruki. It's only a question of seconds when it comes out. And Haruki on game. Well, actually, match point. Let's see how this fans. Oh, Lord, and the 2S. Here we go with the juggle against by Haruki. Gonna get the corner. Guard. Oh no! And Naz gets his BP bait, his uh, burst bait at this time, unfortunately for him. He doesn't have any resources left. Still manages to run from one side of the screen to the other just to grab his opponent. Too many bombers, it looks like a Twitter combo. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, here we go. Very nice cross under right there from Haruki. Manages to get the conversion and. Lord, even the kill thanks to the wall splat, very nicely done and just like none other than Kohide versus Atomi. You know what? I'll be right back, guys. Okie dokie, sorry for the wait. Here we go with the already, man. Already Atemu down one round. Oh, he did definitely speed running this one. Here we go with the grab by Kohide. Oh, tried to go for another one, probably. And Atemu finds the opening with the... Oh, Lord! And gets hit by the aerial overdrive by Kohide. This is shit kill. Good stuff, Kohide. Takes the first. First. Uh, match of this set. Let's see if Atemu wants to potentially. Nope. No. Uh, no. 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 No character uh, swap. Okay. That being said, here we go on to the second round. Uh, the second battle. The second match of this set. Kohide getting the wall break and the positive bonus. Very nice collaborator from Atemu. Catches the front. Dash from Kohide with the 2S, a little one too many. Ukyo's right there, careful there. Oh lord, really, really wanted that grab, unfortunately for him. Ah, oh, loses both the grab and the burst. This is, this gotta, this gotta hurt so much. That being said, here we go with Atemu. Making good use of the explosive damage of, of Nagori Yuki, but still falls to the very, very, very nice legs of Kohide. <laughs> Maybe not of Kohide, but of Giovanna, that is. <laughs> I have no idea what, how, what, how the legs of Kohide in real life looks. Like, <laughs> it being said, here we go with the grab. 
Oh, he defines the grab yet again. No entire right there. Very nice 6 speed. Down it, keep the corner positioning. And goes for 2, uh, 2p, 2p to catch the back dashes. Good, Nasante into counter it, man. This is gonna hurt a lot. And here we go with the wall break. And just like this, we'll eat it up to the nail, man. Dude, good job, man. Dudley. I love Dudley's team. Okay, and on to the next. And potentially final set of this uh, of this uh, encounter. Ah, uh, here we go with the with punish attempt right there from Kohita. A little bit too far. But not quick enough, yeah. Oh lord, and that jumped it. Very nice with punish right there. Okay, and here we go with Kohide, man, using the 2p, 2p to try to get any back dashes. Ah, and the big 2d counter hit. Couldn't quite get the juggle. This would have spelled it, by the way. Woo, and that's cheeky 6p, man. Good stuff. Another with punish, man. This time around with the Roman cancel, it's not gonna kill, though. Lord. Thank you, Guts. How are you doing, Guts? Here we go with the tick throw for the kill. And just like this, we are on set point. Here we go. Trade in favor of Kohide gets an OTG. <laughs> Pops a burst. Probably wanted a golden burst, though. Couldn't quite get the perfect timing on this one. Wow. Calls out the burst of the enemy and with punishes it. He gets the wall break with everything that comes with it and is he gonna kill and he is man the damage output of this character is mad so saying Mugi versus Haruki definitely looking forward to this match Mugi one of the best if not the best Naguriyuki player in Japan currently gets scooped immediately by the 2d of Jacko but retaliates in due form with two command grabs Oh, and it, successful conditioning right there of the enemy. Good stuff from Mugi. Okay, here we go. The 2D counter. This did a lot of damage, man. And again with the 2D to get that wonderful, wonderful knockdown. Unfortunately, gets grabbed. Probably failed to do uh, his meaty correctly and got grabbed out of it by Mugi. Who Roman canceled and secured the win. Here we go with the Fukio man, just not giving any space to Haruki right now. Haruki definitely struggling a little bit, it seems. Here we go, no entire. This is a very uncharacteristic of Mugi. Here we go with the juggle. Haruki not gonna get the wall break. Uh, no, no, not gonna get the. Uh, he did get the wall break. I don't know what I wanted to say, but he got the wall break and he did. But refusing to use the overdrive to get the hard knockdown, I've said no. Ah, this is gonna hit. Yep, so it will, yeah. Okay. And Ugi, who is going to extend the combo, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And the OTG for the kill. Good stuff by Mugi. He's gonna get the first match. First match, Mugi. Let's see how uh, Haruki is going to be able to bring some sort of adjustments. Probably, hopefully, we'll see. Oh, and that big jump in right there from Haruki, and again with that 2S counter hit, man. Boogie, you have to, you have to, you have to block sometimes. Sometimes only, not the elder time. Okay, here we go with the far S Reka right there from Moogie. Oh no, this is unfortunate. Finally, how to keep using the Roman yellow Roman cats. Oh lord, the PR. Ah, this is unfortunate. And this is gonna kill. Yeah, it's gonna kill. I think. No, it's not, actually. I lied. Very nice damage, though. And here we go. No wake up super by Haruki, who doesn't have tension, by the way, and getting all of his freaking meter gauge taken away from him, man. Lord. And here we go, Mugi already in the corner, man, has to has to deal with this pressure one way or the other.
very nice counter hit right there from Mugi. Finally manages to get Haruki off of his back. But Haruki uh, making good use of using the minions to enter into a... Uh, Harass his opponent quite literally. And again with the 2s to catch the 2d attempts from Haruki. This time around uses the PRC to make it safe. Finally, pops the burst. It's definitely not looking quite good for Haruki right there. And gets standing peed to death. Good stuff from Mugi. Puts another one on the board. This is 2 0. Okay, here we go. Okay, Haruki. Oh, gets scooped by the Beyblade. And with a double Huki right there for a lot to try to catch Haruki. And again with the Fukyo into the Beyblade to close the distance and deal. Damage to his opponent, very big 6 p 6 h and just like this, he's gonna get the kill. It was quick, man. It was really freaking quick. And on to potential final match of this set. Ooh, and a bad burst by Haruki, man. Out of everything, doesn't have any resources. Lugi using the RC to extend the combo, get the positive bonus. And here we go with Haruki. Oh lord. No one's home, sir. Haruki working on a comeback right now. Very nice reflexes right there from Haruki, knowing that you can press buttons after this one. And here we go with the potential final match of this set. Mugion, with a very strong start, already manages to take half of the life of his opponent. Nice straight in favor of Mugi, still keeps the pressure. Thanks to the grab a little bit too far to get the second in command grab in. Very nice stuff by Haruki, finally finds the op opening. Not gonna manage to get the kill, not quite yet. Gets the grab though. Oh, and that call out on the YRC right there, and no cancel into the... Yeah, that's... Uh, that was surprising. Still worked out in the end, but that was really surprising. Just like this. Haruki, staying alive. Bring it back. One to two. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go with the air to air. Forces Mugi to pop the burst. And very nice juggle. Corner, carry... Into sport pressure, into overdrive. Elysium driver. Oh, can you go with the wall break? Very nice use right there of the grab by Haruki. Keeps the pressure on, and yeah, Moogie actually struggling quite a bit. Oh, and that jump in low. Let's see if you can move. If you can, yeah, bring it back. Very nice. 6 HS OT. Usually, this is a lot of freedom damage, man. Okay, and here we go. Very nice stuff by Moogie, man. Finally on match point. Hopefully for him, he's going to be able to seal it. Or Haruki is going to smother him with love and with snooze snooze. And the burst has been baited. This is quite unfortunate, not gonna lie. And here we go with the 6p. Okay, here we go. No air to air right there. Haruki manages to find the opening with the empty lows and the 2d. And again with the FIFA, FIFA simulator. Here we go, yeah, oh my lord, look at the damage, look! Look at the chip damage, lord! What are you supposed to do? Ah, finally, you should've, okay, here he should've have. Actually, press a button, and just like this, 
Moogie, man, takes it with the simplest. This is the loser's semifinal, none other than Kohide versus Moogie. Both masters of their own respectful character. Respective, not respectful, because there's no, there's no respect in this game whatsoever. <laughs> that being said, strong start of the round with Moogie already. Almost got half of uh, his opponent's life. And here we go with the corner pressure. Very well, cheeky jump in the tent by Kohide. Immediately gets six speed by Mugi into the wall break. And here we go with the far S. Well, the far uh, HS actually for the kill. Very nicely done by Mugi. Gets the first round. And the wake of gold burst right there. Poor Kohide manages to hit his opponent with. He got two tension bar right away. Time to bring the pain. Yeah, Mugi definitely two Nasante away from getting killed. Okay, no entire right there. Still catches your opponent with the freaking long range of the the Nasante man. Good stuff by Kohide, staying alive. Oh, okay, here we go with the kick flip, not the kick flip, the crossover. He's probably gonna get the wall break. Yes, he does. And just like, well, he gets uh, the, the juggle, not the wall break, but enough to kill. And on to the final round of this match. Very nice juggle. From Mugi, gonna get the wall break. Good stuff. Oh, here we go with the positive bonus. And the big 2D counter hit immediately forces Mugi to burst to get out of pressure. And he's gonna get a huge amount of damage. Is it there? No, it's not. It's not there. It's not. It's not. Yeah. I knew it. I knew it. No need to, no need to, uh, to call me out. Again, here we go with Dizarai Mayuki for the kill, the clone. And just like this, Mugi on up one. Was he? Yeah, up one map. Yeah, that that was the first map. Yeah. Okay, here we go. The big six p counter hit, man. And Kuida just hanging on to his burst, man. Good stuff. Okay, here we go with the take throw by Kohide. Catches the bag that's with the two, yes. Oh, and the big 6 speed counter. This did a lot of damage. Look at this. Mugi on point with the conversions, man. The boom. Here we go with the trade. That would have been huge if it wasn't a trade and it was in favor of Kohide. But that being said. Mugi on point, grabs his opponent out. I find the opening immediately with Fukio to 2S into Beyblade. Oh, and the big golden... The big Roman burst, man. And here we go, immediate use of the bar to secure that hard knockdown. Really definitely wants to apply safe pressure right there. And here we go with the Abare, Abare. Very nice overture right there with the 2S into 2HS. And still not enough. Oh, and that call out with the 2S man. <gasps> and Kohide just letting it rip, unfortunately, for... Oh, no! What the hell? Mugi getting scooped by the overdrive. Even though he Roman canceled, that's strange. Here we go with the onslaught. And the big far HS counter. It did a lot of damage, man. Here we go with the burst by Mugi. And it's just to bring Kohide in the corner. Command grabs him. Oh, finally forces him to pop the burst and the Clone for the kill. Mugi up 2-0. to zero. Kohide a little bit in the dire straight. Definitely going to have to change his game plan right now if he wants to turn things over. So the way that he's playing... Well, the way that he's uh, not playing, he plays formally well. But the way that he's approaching uh, Mugi right now is probably not working too much in his favor. Okay, here we go again with the burst. Early burst by Kohide. Back in the corner yet again. Has to deal with the pressure. Oh lord, and here we go, Kohide finally 
out of the corner. Oh lord, get scooped by the forest. The rake up. This is gonna do a lot of damage. And again with the whiff. Uh, with punish attempt by going a little bit too late still again to with punish the 2s. Ah, oh, Lauren, the confirms are there by Moogie man. Not afraid of this dude. And Kohide wanting to bring escort Moogie in the corner finally manages to do so. Kohide with the whiffed 6p, it didn't really matter for me to say. We go with the Roman cancel. Oh, he did definitely looking to seal it out again with an Asante man. And just like this, the juggle for Kohide. Kohide staying alive. Definitely down two matches, but up. Well, not up, but at least he manages to take one round. Definitely need to win this match if he wants to keep the momentum going. But yeah, that being said, unfortunately for him, he is against Mugi, who is no slouch. Currently in the life lead department and also has a one tenter bar. Let's see how this pans out. Immediate dust, quick dust into death. Into a perfect, very nicely done by. Next battle, none other than Takarin versus Arx. This is gonna be obviously a zoning heavy matchup, as you probably already figured. Uh, that being said, Tesseran does have a little bit of um, more tools when it comes to the. Uh, corner department, I feel, I personally. So let's see how this pans out. She probably does have a lot of problems just getting in though. That makes it, oh, and here we go with the jump in, the clean jump in by the Guardian. Already, yeah, already has oh, ha more than half of uh, Aris's life already gone. Here we go with the Lensengeki. Okay, it's his opponent with the snail. Roman cancel for death, good stuff from very good stuff from Takarin, staying consistent as always with the Arbiter. And yeah, Axel just staying extremely freaking nimble. Doesn't want to get hit by anything. Slippery, that's the word I was working for. And here we go with the Arbiter. No wild bake! And my lord, the 6p of Takarin, man, this dude not afraid to press button in in very, very tight situation. Very nice area where in favor of Takarin, doing a very good job of keeping Oryx out. Even though he doesn't have the wall, the... Even though he doesn't have the, um, the health lead. Okay, here we go with the pressure from Oryx, man, but... It's scooped by, it's scooped by Takarin, man. This dude not afraid to just block. Lensengeki. And back to neutral. Very nice jump in barracks. Gets scooped by the standing P though. First round goes first. Uh, Matt, I'm sorry, goes to Takarin. Very nicely done. Okay, here we go with the two K2D. Stay simple. And yeah, Takani really just trying to get out, man. Not stay, trying to control the spacing right in front of him, prevent Arx from jumping on him. But Arx finds the opening using the TP actually. Very intelligent player to do this. Here we go with the. Counter hit confirms right there from Takani forces Arx to pop the burst. And here we go with the pressure again. Arx finding and having has found their sweet spot. Here we go with the Arbiter zoning yet again from Arx. Really trying to get that final sequence in. Ah, that close S for the kill. Good stuff from Dagani, man. And very good, uh, very good, um, how do you say it? Recognition and conversion. We go to Axel Bomber, man. Here 
And here we go, the Axle Bomber are extending on their last leg, gets hit by a 4S. A jumping S, actually. Uh-oh. I think we're gonna have a... Uh -oh. Um... Damn it. I think it was Takarin who won, right? I'm pretty sure Takarin is up 2-2-0. Two, two, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, sorry. The connection error kind of killed my, my flow. I think it was Takarin. Yeah. Pretty sure he was. Can that being uh, said, here we go with the zoning. And the command grab good stuff from Takarin. He's gonna get the... The world! Lord. So many actual bombers. Good stuff from Takarin. Oh, Lord. And the stare down in favor of Rx who grab his opponent quicker. Oh, Lord. Oh, no anti right there from Takarin. Unfortunate for him. Ah, very nice jump out of Takarin. Oh, and Takarin gets his bursts baited. This is unfortunate. Good stuff from Rx. Definitely not missing any single opportunity, man. Okay, here we go with the anti air from Takarin. Oh, and the Arbiter, man. A little bit too late to... I don't think you can punish it. Oh, you definitely can punish it, actually. I, I think. With the Arbiter, probably. Oh, and here we go. The empty everything. <laughs> the empty everything into close slash. That was pretty fun. Here we go. The Arbiter. Nice. Uh, space control right there from RX. Oh, Lord. Oh no! And Takarin just popping the Hail Mary at the absolute best moment possible. Yo, Geo dude, welcome to the Brothers. Thank you very much for the follow, Geo. Hope that your your Eno is doing well. Okay, and here we go with the Lens Sengeki for the kill. And just like this, Takarin on set point. If I'm correct, I think it was. Hold on, get that. How are you doing? And here we go with the Snail pushing. Rx ever so slightly in the corner. Oh lord. Rx really wanting to get this one. Uh, of course, you should not give up on it. You definitely shouldn't, man. With the two. Ah, the big two HS count. Uh, the, two, the big two HS into the snail blocked, but it's still okay. Takarin definitely looking good. Definitely looking good. Ah, and here we go. Rx using the crow to prevent Takarin from jumping however he wants. Oh lord. Oh no, yeah, the standing P going over the hitbox of Rx. Oh, and that that freaking TP, man, in favor of Takarin. And I think that Takarin versus Mugi. So I think Rx sent Mugi and the loser's book four. Let me check real quick. Who sent Mugi and the loser? Yeah, it is actually. So this is the run back right there. Rx sent the loser. Er, Rx did send Mugi and the losers. So now this is the opportunity for Mugi to uh, get his revenge and make his way to the uh, to the winners final to the grand finals actually. So let's see how this pans out. And here we go. The corner pressure, man. The corner pressure is real. Very nice challenge right there from Rx, getting a lot of mileage out of this very very suffocating pressure, especially when you are playing Nagori Yuki. Gets the uh, the hit with the. Arbiter coupled with the stain and the Roman cancel. You could get the juggle for the kill. First round goes R2 RX. And here we go. Six feet. No one home. No juggle on this one. Impossible, by the way. Here we go with the 2S, 2S. Oh, and the big 2S counter right there. This is a lot of damage. Okay, here we go with the wall break. I love the song that's gonna play, by the way. And here we go with the challenge again from RX. Gonna get the corner carry. And very nice standing S for the kill by Moogie. Definitely not out of it yet. Oh lord! What is going on? It's Beyblade, Beyblade Fest, Beyblade Festival. And here we go, the Arbiter, very nicely done. Oh, that was a cheeky TP, not gonna lie. Here we go with the 6HS to keep Mugi on, on Earth, prevent him from jumping. 
Oh, very nice XP. Nobody's home. There we go, very nice 6 right there. Punishes you jumping from Oryx. Yeah, here we go to the corner. Ah, oh, carry a little bit too far to get the command grab, unfortunately. Moogie up uh, two... Yeah, more or less two blood, uh, blood gauges. Need to be a little bit careful, but it's okay. They should do... Oh, Lord. And that cross up counter... That cross up Roman gets was sick. Good stuff. Oh, I get it. No, this is gonna... Oh, Lord, he tried to schmix him, but... <gasps> Moogie aware, man. Just freaking presses jumping K to just land right on top of Oryx and kill him with it. Lord, this is unfortunate for Oryx, that being said. But it's okay, there's still three, are the, uh, three other opportunities for him to come back. Okay, here we go. Quick burst right there from Moogie. Wants to get out of harm's way. And the Emperor's March, man. <clears throat> here we go with the pressure. Yeah, here we go with the pressure again. Mugi wanted to keep that corner pressure, man. Doesn't want Oryx out of it by no freaking means. The trade, still good thing for Mugi. Uh, and here we go, the jump in. Mugi not afraid to press buttons. Gets hit, though, with a counter hit in the juggle that ensues, man, that follows. It ensues? Uh, it's okay, that follows. Let's just say, let's just keep it simple. Okay, here we go, the 2k challenges the 6p, the 6k from Mugi. Here we go again with the... Yeah, this time around, probably Ari's trying to bait the overdrive from Moogie since he's been waking up with this a very... Well, quite a quite a large amount of time, if you ask me. Okay, here we go with... Uh, our X down one round and Moogie up one. And the big... <gasps> start up with the DP. That did a lot of damage, though. It's okay, Moogie's still just up two bars of, uh, of blood. So it's not that big of a deal. Ah, the big blade, Beyblade to punish the, um, the way down from, uh, from Oryx, and just like this, he's gonna get the kill. Lord, on the perfect, nevertheless, that was a big freaking statement, and second match goes to Moogie. Good stuff, good stuff. And here we go, potentially final match of this set. Very nice, oh my lord, it's suffocating, man. Oryx forced to burst, man, to get him off of him. Oh, there we go with the TP. Very nice choice to use the TP right there to get out of the corner. There we go. Eat my skull. Oh, no. And the bad grab attempt right there from Oryx. This is unfortunate. Very nice grab attempt this time around, though. Okay, nobody home with the 6HS. Okay, he got the stain. Got the juggle. Hesitated a bit on the juggle, but it's okay. He still got it. And you have to eat it. Yeah, and Moogie just having to eat it, man. You have to eat it. Very nice. Very nice blocks right there from Moogie. Oh, okay, nobody on the punish of the Beyblade. Or was it the Fukyo? Wow, and the air, anti-air conversions. Man, that was crazy. Good stuff from Moogie on set point right there. Let's see if RX can bring it back. What What is he doing? I don't know, but... Ah, he just wants the two bars of blood so he can hit farther. That's what he's, he's betting it on, I feel. He doesn't care if he hits his opponent or not at the beginning. He just wants these two, uh, these two, uh, blood, blood, blood gauges. That's all. Very nice jump in right there from Mugi. Oh, again, the double Fukyo into the command grab. And no one on the Konsetsu. This is unfortunate. And RX in very good for Oh, gets hit by the 6P. Even oh, gets hit by the corner. Swap too far to get hit by the dust. And here we go, the TP out of the corner, but gets hit by the standing S nevertheless. That was a very dense Hakarin versus Mugi. Mugi is in the loser's bracket, meaning that he needs to win two sets. Well, two sets of three. Well, he needs to win two sets of three matches. Well, of, of three for... Uh, of, he needs to win two FT3s, okay? That's it. <laughs> Lord. Okay, anyways, here we go with Takari and already in the corner, but managed to make it out, actually. Very nicely done. That was very quick. And Mugi in... Well, zoning mode, actually. Well, he's a, he's being zoned. That's that's a fact. Let's see how he manages to go around the zoning game and... Yeah, so because, yeah, this is a very... I feel like it's a very hard matchup. One of the few and rare bad matchups for Nagori Yuki. 
in that he has to maneuver around all of the zoning in Axel, which is definitely not very, very fun, I suppose, for uh, for Nagori Yuki players. But uh, I feel like once Nagori is in, that's when our good old Alex Fell just explodes. Here we go with the Alan Sengeki, man. Oh, and the big 2 HS counter hit, man. Uh, I think he is, actually. Uh, you, you're talking about the ELO? Yeah, he's definitely in the top 100. If you watch his ELO right now, I can actually uh, check it out right now. I'm pretty sure he has like 2,300-ish something uh, points. So yeah, he's, uh, he's a monster. He's definitely a monster. Man. This dude is a freaking monster. PKRN, he has a son, actually. So, Takanin has... Oh, well, it's, it's okay. It's 2,197, you know, but it's still definitely good. It's still definitely good. He's number one Axel, isn't he? Nah, he's number... He's the fifth Axel, actually. Yeah. Fifth Axel and... Top top 122 overall on the Steam version of the game. Well, it's, it's definitely respectable. <laughs> he's definitely a very good player. Yeah, reading update. Yeah. He's uh, top 122. And the fifth, he is the fifth number five uh, Axel player. Okay, that being said, back to the. Oh lord, and Moogie actually managed to, <laughs> to win the first round, actually. And here we go back to the zoning game. All you need is one very nice grab right there from Takani, man. Good stuff from him. He's gonna get the wall break. Okay, one round apiece. How is Takani going to. Secure the win if he does. He started the round 6 feet for Mugi and just jumping all over the screen for Takarin. None could hit each other. But finally, Mugi managed to bring Takarin in the corner. A big Beyblade counter hit. This did a lot of damage. I'll get back to neutral. Dukang. Oh, again, the jump in for the freaking punish. Is this. It's not gonna kill, it's gonna do a lot of damage though. We go with the wall break. Oh lord, okay, low profile. Mo that was pretty nice. Okay, here we go, no anti right there from Mugi. He gets scooped by the two HS, I believe. Oh lord, he gets jumped on and even gets the punish on the burst once more. No, the drop! The drop! You hate to see it happen. And oh lord, the drop. That was a very, very, very unfortunate drop right there from Takarin. And yeah, he pays the price for it, man. You definitely did. This is unfortunate. This is very cute music. And here we go back to the neutral. Ah, pretty nice trade for Takarin. Definitely managed to put some distance between him and Mugi. The big counter hit on the far HS did a lot of damage, though. We go with the 2 HS counter hit, man. This did a lot of that. And again with the 2 S this time around counter hit with the juggle. You are jumping way too much. Maybe this is the message that Takani wants to send you. You are sending way, you are jumping way too much. Again with the air tour in favor of Takani. Takani definitely shifting his gaze to, yeah, definitely shifting his gaze to, uh, to the sky. Oh no! This is unfortunate. He could have gotten the kill probably if he got the wall spot though. Oh lord, and the back dash into the standing game and the cojones on this person. Good stuff from Akarin. Definitely not out of it yet. Okay, here we go. Back to the neutral. Boogie. Back to the Tom and Jerry. The Tom and Jerry play. Mugi being Tom and Takarin being Jerry. And here we go, Tom definitely got an opening right there. Good stuff from Mugi, finds the opening. No entire right there. Okay, here we go with the far S, doesn't hit his opponent though. Oh, and the an unfortunate blood burst right there from... Oh, Lord, yeah, one more and you did. And here we go with the command grab for the kill. And Takarin just putting one on the so board. Taking this one, well, this set that wins. And if not, then the bracket will be reset. Okay, here we go with the... Oh, the jumping attacks right there from... 
Oh lord, and the command grab and Moogie going completely ham. Moogie going with the resets and just like this is gonna get the kill. That was quick as a mother humper, I'm not gonna lie. Good stuff. And a perfect at that. That was a big freaking... That was an extremely, extremely convincing round, man. Good stuff. Okay, here we go with the 2HS. But Takarin definitely not out of it. Okay, here we go. Both taking their times. Don't want to overextend. Oh, he got the... Oh, Lord. Here we go, Takarin. Looking good. Oh, no punish on the snail. Probably uh, Mugi was expecting like a Roman cancel after it since Takarin did have one bar of tension. Here we go. Oh, no. And that air to air in favor of Mugi. A big counter hit, by the way. But 2HS to save the day. Very nicely done by, uh, by Takarin. Let's see how this comes out. Yo. Here we go with the rainwater counter hit. Very nicely done. Oh, Lord. Oh, the big 2S counter hit right there. Even got a conversion off. It was crazy. And the air to air. <gasps> and the recognition that he could actually fit in a Axel Bomber at the end of this uh, air to air. That was really good by Tata. No entire right there. Probably, yeah, the angle was quite, um, it was quite treacherous. So might as well not commit to it. Okay, still no punish on the... Oh, Lord, no, no, you hit. Oh, no, he got it by the command. Girl, this is so unfortunate. I think even Takarin wasn't really sure what he was doing at that particular moment. Oh, no, for that. Oh, and gets hit by the follow up of the Len Sengeki. Just like this, Takarin moves on. 2 2 1, man. Well, he doesn't move on, but he goes up 2 to 1. Just need one more match to end this tournament. Nice rainwater right there, punishes Mugi's attempt to throw any. Oh, look, what the hell was that? That was a 6 speed. That was crazy. Hits him out of the clone. And here we go with the 2P to prevent him from jumping on him. Here we go with the 2H this time around. The snail successfully punishes Mugi's attempt to try to close the gap between him and his opponent. Again, the counter hit. Uh, jumping H from Mugi. Oh, get this time around. Takarin on point. Rinsen's spin is such a rare set. It is, it is. He used it really good this time around. Oh, again, here we go back to the corner. No, back to the um to the neutral. Yeah, Mugi finally using one of his special, and unfortunately for him, gets his command grab attempt punish. And here we are, tournament point right there, ladies and gentlemen. In favor of Takarin, Mugi definitely needs to make something happen if he wants to stay in. But Takarin, not gonna lie, looking extremely solid, man. Doesn't let anything go by. We go to Lensen again, man. There we go with the entire. We get 2P just harassing him out of the air, pushing him back, man. Again with the Lensen. No, no, you're staying there. You're not getting close. Again with the jump in this time around. Finds the opening. And this is the thing that you hate to see when you're an Axel player. Careful with the blood gauge. Oh, again with the grab attempt. This time around, no burst of baits. Again with the jump. And oh, no, that was a bad burst. That was a very bad burst, this is unfortunate. No overdrive to get a hard knockdown, that being said. Oh lord, very nice. Far uh, S, I guess? Yeah. We can, here we go. Okay, definitely not wanting to overcommit and hits him with the... Oh lord, it's not gonna kill. Oh, he's gonna get the wall break. Almost there. Lord, what, how, what was the... Yeah, that was... That was, that was impossible. <laughs> That was impossible to see. <laughs> Lord, cross under, dust, Roman cancel. Yeah, you're, you're dead. Very nice command grab. Here we go, Mugi, not going down without a fight. Okay, and freaking Takarin san finding a way out of the corner. Good stuff, man. Okay, here we go with the air to air, and Takarin decides to backdash, just well, to back IED, just not to, yeah, to get out of the conflict. Oh lord, and that 6P was beautiful. Big counter hit. Corner carry. Here we go with the challenge again, man, from Takari. Not afraid. And Takari not seeing. Oh yeah, but this is death, yeah. 
Good stuff, and Mugi not out of it yet, man. Two rounds apiece, two matches apiece, actually. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, and the next person who wins it takes it all. Okay, here we go with the big... Oh, Lord. Here we go, the Lens Sand, man. This is potentially the last set of this tournament all depends on Takarin harassing Mugi with the 2HS man noticing that yeah Mugi doesn't want to overcommit well then I'm just gonna use very very simple oh lord here we go the axle bomber big big damage incoming Okay, here we go again, man. Takari harassing Mugi, not overcommitting, just really playing it slow. Unfortunately, press the button on the Rekka of Mugi. And look at the damage! Are you dead? Oh my lord! Good lord! Oh, good lord! That damage was crazy, man. Holy freaking lord. Okay, here we go. Yeah, probably Takari got a little bit flustered by this, I can feel. All of this effort for not just get open twice. Okay, here we go. He got out of the corner though, which is in itself a very good accomplishment. Oh lord, in the jump in. This doesn't feel very fighting like. I love Golden Sun, but yeah, not this time, not right now. Okay, here we go. The big two HS entire into the overdrive, man. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Not gonna kill, but yeah, Mugi on the verge of resetting the brackets, man. Woo! Oh, and here we go with the Lord and uh, sending as for the kill, and just like this, Mugi takes it and resets the brackets. This is crazy, man. Crazy schmazy. Okay, so Takarin in losers this time around, and the bracket has been reset. Here we go. Let's see how this spins out. Hey, it's the mode of this here, the as fast. Lord. Okay, so one more set. This is the final set of tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Please make sure to uh, to enjoy. <laughs> well, I can't really force you to enjoy. It's something that comes or doesn't anyway. But here we go. Some encouragement for Moogie from Kale. And here we go with the Linsing again, unfortunately gets opened by Moogie, man. Oh, with the clone, which beats the Rensen. And here we go with the 6 HS, gonna do a lot of damage. Lord, the cojones on this person with the 6 key round starter. Well, actually, um, start, uh, wall, wall break, post wall break starter. Okay, here we go back to the zoning game from Takarin, man. Oh lord, ah, Mugi really wants to pin Takarin down, and he successfully did try to uh, come and grab him this time around, this time around, Takarin fuzzy jumping correctly, wow, look at the damage, lord, oh, here we go, the trade, definitely in favor of Takarin, uh, of, uh, of Mugi, well, a bit from Takarin, from a positional point, wow, another Takarin versus Mugi Grand Finals, yeah, did you see? <laughs> Lord, these guys are very consistent in their results. And here we go with the snail and Moogie gets hit. Oh no, but not by the command grab though. Oh no, this is unfortunate for you and Takarin is gonna take this round. Very nicely done. Yeah, there are a lot of Takarin versus, uh, not gonna lie. But what can I do? I need more people to participate and try to defeat them. That's what needs to happen. Again, here we go with Takarin trying to get out of the corner, but yeah, not working so much. Okay, and here we go. This is becoming a rivalry. Yeah. Well, you can more or less expect if if you have like Takarin, Mugi, RX, or and Nikojiru in the same tournament. You can more or less expect these guys to be like in the top four. They're usually very consistent when it comes to this. They're very, very strong with their respective characters as well. 
Okay, here we go with the 6P. Jump in. Oh, here we go with Lin Sengeki. Trying to push him out as far as possible. Oh, and that was an unfortunate command grab. Kind of whiffed. But Takarin definitely, definitely wants to get this one, man. And very nice catch of the, um, of the, um, the Fuki right there. That was really nice. Oh, Lord. What was that? That was crazy good. Okay, here we go with the 2P. Hitting him out of his jump. Oh, could have gotten the kill if he reacted to the Fuki in due time. And just like this, Takarin takes the first match of this reset. When I get matched with either Takarin or Ice and Tower, I get happy if I get around. Yeah, these guys are really good. They are really, really good. Okay, and here we go. 2P start of the round. And here we go with Moogie. Ah, oh, gets hit by the Rainwater. Oh, okay, 2S, 2S. No one's home. Knock, knock, knock. Very nice NK to the uh, 2D. Oh lord, I thought I thought Mugi was gonna blood raid. Go oh, again, here we go. Lord, and here we go with the jump in by Takani using the RC to get the extension. A little bit, yeah. Not close enough to the corner to get any sort of conversion. Oh lord, and that 2P, the, that standing P man. Entire, very nicely done. First round of this second match goes to Takarin. Lord, 6P, nobody home. With the slap. Okay, good 2HS right there. From Takarin gets out of the corner yet again. And here we go with the jump in again from. Oh, yeah, Takarin failing to get out of the corner right there. Unfortunately for him, he has to deal with this pressure. Not gonna sugarcoat it. Yeah, he's not gonna kill though. Thankful for him. Okay, here we go with the jump in. No. Very nice quick dust for the kill. And very nice BGM from Undertale. Here we go with the 2HS. No, 2S, I'm sorry. 2 anti Mugi hit him out of the air. Nice raid in favor of Mugi, pushes Takarin in the corner, but Takarin manages to get out of it thanks to a jump back. And back to the Lin Sengeki game, man. Doesn't want him to get close. Okay, again, the Lin Sengeki hits Mugi out of the air. Pushes him back. We go with the Mugi. Yeah, Mugi. Here we go, the jump in this time around. Mugi not ready with the six Ps. Oh, there we go, the wall, the Lord. Again with the 5 feet. Really positioning himself where if Mugi jumps, he can 5 feet him and get him out of the air. And look at this, this is ship territory right there. Careful. Yeah, you don't want, yeah, you don't want that actually. No entire, but then again, entire in this is a biatch. <laughs> Good stuff from Tagani, man. Good stuff. Push puts another one on the board actually. And yeah, Mugi, all of his momentum seems to have vanished like almost instant instantaneously. Yeah, you know? it's crazy. But it's okay, still not over to the toilet. Let's see if he can make a comeback right now. Here we go with the Fukyo. Here we go with the jump in as well. And Mugi getting hit. Getting hit by the cycles. Go forward, Fuku into the grab, and the big standing HS counter hit. On fortunately, no follow up for him. Go with the snail pushing him out, and Lin Sengeki time. Wow, Mugi smelling that Takani was probably going for a throw. The the Kai Tech, if I might say, running like three quarters of a screen and just grabbing you. The Kai Tech, obviously, very nice six speed right there. Hits him out of the air and pushes him in the corner. Very nice area. Yeah. That was crazy good. And again with this close S, man. The confirms and the wall splat. This is gonna... Not kill. Not kill. Yeah. Oh! I lied. I lied so, so much. Are we gonna see a freaking... Are we gonna see a comeback? I smell a comeback. I don't know why. 
I smell absolutely a comeback. <laughs> they proved me wrong. I did a I did a James Chen right there. Anyways, here we go with the uh, cycle. Oh, get okay. wow! Very nice six right there from Taikarin. Hits Mugi out of the air, pushes him back to the corner. Lensen Geki indeed, you stay there, sir. Again with the standing P man is hitting, hitting so good, man. And the the world and careful Mugi. Oh, okay, yeah, Mugi, yeah, forced to hold on to his burst right there. And tournament point for Takarin. This is not the first one, by the way. I think it's the third or fourth. Uh, maybe the third. So let's see how this pans out. Very nice read right there from Takarin. Oh lord, okay, the two HS actually hit. Mugi through the clone, I guess. Oh, and the chase right there from Mugi. Definitely doesn't want to give any breathing space to Takarin, man. The more breathing space you give to them, the the much harder the freaking matchup is going to become. Very nice clash in favor of Takarin this time around. Really wants to get the opening. Very nice far slash. Far HS, I'm sorry. Heavy slash. From Mugi. Again with the heavy slash. Finds the opening. And again the jump back from Takarin. To not get hit by the, the grab. Okay, on slot. Here we go. Wow, the patient. The stare down, man. Is that going to be it? Oh no! You tried to style and you shouldn't have. Takarin, you tried to style, but it's still okay. It's still okay. It's still not over. And here we go with Lelensen for the kill. And just like this, Takarin.